Man, this show is getting a little bit confusing in terms of the different timelines that it has. So basically, the humans or rest, the rest of our classmates, they are operating in the future. I'm not sure how long because they've been reincarnated and they grew up into adults. While we are still back in the past as spiders. And the fact that they showed us the egg, the dragon egg, the worm egg, and they showed us the, dra the earth dragon, you know, the girl that bullied us. I think it might be safe to assume that girl is from that egg, but obviously she's hatched because it's into the future. So we're going to have to be very careful in how we kind of like see things happening in different timelines and try to like prophesize like, does this lead into the future or not? Let's begin today's reaction. Have we changed a lot from the last episode? Did she get a mega evolution? She got a couple of evolutions last No, it's the last time when we turn from small or less to small spider. <laughs> Still no name. Like, why? And status? Yo, why? <laughs> we're just weak. At least before it's a small, lesser tower tech than they were weak. Now we're just small. So it's, you know, instead of two bads, it's just one bad. Ah, uh, so if you level up. This is basically like awakening, like promoting or like basically ascending a unit in gacha games and you start back from level one, but your base stats are higher. Why is the stamina gone? Why is the stamina gone? Prestige? Yeah, like a prestige system, yeah. Okay, this... <laughs> the spider web is just so sus, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> this is episode three. Damn, she eating a fucking lot. Really? Her, oh my gosh, she actually divided the whole thing. That's a huge ass snake. So she has a huge, huge appetite. Wonder if that really means anything. And they keep showing us the stamina bar too. Maybe the stamina bar being small is not that, that it went depleted, but like we hit like a new evolution, so our cap got increased. So this like maybe our like our exactly right. So we we surely we must have more stamina than before because last time we were running a lot, but it was decreased by a lot. So I guess we just have way more now, even though it looks smaller in the beginning. I don't know. Threat control and detection. Uh, I would probably go with threat control here. Sounds cooler. Detection sounds useful, but right now I want to do better things with my threads. Spider-Man? She looks like a ladybug here. Detection. The sense of your threads, right? Or maybe your intuition? Oh, you get both. Never mind. I thought it's one or the other. It's just like perception and solo leveling, right? You can just sense everything better. Too much stimulation from the senses, I think. Yeah, it's all the sensations coming in. Okay, that's been thrown aside. What does that web do now? It's faster? Stronger, probably? Different directions, too? A web armor? We can do that? She looks like a ninja there, actually, an assassin. She has so much fun by herself, man. We used to struggle so much with this guy. Now we're just, like, fucking going all over the place with one shot. Yo! Yeah, she's having actually so much fun. One of the most interesting things in this show is, like, how much um, she's okay with just buying being herself, being alone, but she just thrives alone because she's kind of a gamer because she was like that back on Earth too, right? Just, like, family life sucks, school life sucks, so she kind of shuts in, just games only. So, like, she has a pretty good outlook on life. She has a great mentality. Proficiency levels going up. Yep. Like, if you think about it, solo leveling is Sung Jin Mu just like suffering on every level. He's like, no, I will no longer be weak. And he's just yelling, ah, leveling up. <laughs> and she's like, woohoo, I'm a spider. It's a web attack, yeah. It's like, <laughs> one side is like dying and just like suffering, and the other is just like, it's a fucking party. Okay. <laughs> Is it 10 though? Is it 10 though? Hmm? Hmm? Oh? Whoa, 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 whoa. 36, 36, 34. Magic power 19, 19, 19. Stats? Okay. Numbers? 
Oh, I don't know. I, there's no good reference point compared to other stats, so I don't really know if that's impressive, but she is supposed to be super fast, and the fact that we evolved into a small spider, that was like an assassin's route, right? Because the lesser spider is going to big, gigantic spider, right? Gigantic spider, but the small spider is like small, condensed diamond, like very fast, you know? The UI is pretty shitty, though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The UI menu is pretty shit, I'm not gonna lie, yes, it's just text. Don't talk too quick. Where's Mama Spider? Where's Mama Spider at? We haven't seen her in a long time. Humans! Can you fight those humans though? Level 29. That's a weird name, Gordo. Appraisal failed. We just got a fucking gate. We just got gate kept. We're not strong enough, dude. You run, run. We should be faster though, right? Way faster than the right. Well, maybe the snake could help us out. Cause you got tiny ass legs and the humans have long ass legs. Are they actually coming for the spider or are they running away from something? What's going on? The monsters are on our side. Just run beside them. Oh, oh, the speed! <laughs> She is fast, boy! My wall running tech. Yo, she's parkouring. Did the humans just kill them all? I think that was the magic there, yeah? No, don't talk too big too soon. You're gonna jinx yourself again. Wait. That's where the rest of the monsters are, right? We, we've been at that cliff before. Come on. That's, that's, that's a hype. I think we've been at the edge of that cliff before. We've been there. I think we use like appraisal and there's a shitload of fucking monsters down there for, right? Was that the same cliff? Uh oh, Nisa, our, our, our sister. Nisa, was that a cliffhanger? Yes, that was a cliffhanger. <laughs> you guys really don't like the human part, huh? Uh, the human part's kind of interesting to me, but I guess you guys have already seen the anime, so I guess the, the way that it develops is not very good. But to me, this the human part is very fascinating. I just want to know if Hugo is actually strong, man. Is Hugo actually strong? He talks a lot. Wait, wait, I, I missed something while I was talking. I, did he just send him there? The, the, the bro was like, you can't sit here, bro. Just move over there, you fucking mob. Hugo just did that, didn't he? He was like, all right, get the fuck out of my... Go <laughs> 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 over there, bitch. Mm. Oh, maybe we get to see Hugo in action, finally. Show me how capable you are, Hugo. You talk a lot. He is, because we said that we're going to be better than Julius Nisama, who's the strongest here. God is a girl, Megami. Is she hallucinating? Is there an actual god? She, she just speaks with the god? She, uh, okay. Sure, okay. The goddess has told her that the god has told her that you need to level up? Okay, we know the level system exists, but okay. I can't believe she put her fucking hands on Nisama. Okay, we got a huge brocon here. We all have like a Miyuki type. <laughs> it's, okay, what's the difference between Nisama and Onisama? Is Onisama more intimate than Nisama? I'm gonna assume it is. I feel like Nisama is a little bit less intimate and a little bit less broken. But when Miyuki says, oh, Nisama to, you know, Tatsu all the time, I feel like that's a lot more intimate. Nisama's more intimate? Really? I thought the existence of the O makes it more intimate, but okay. So, like, what about Nisan? Nisan is like the way Susan refers to Manabu, but it's not Sama, it's San, so. Can you say Onisan? Onisan? I, I don't fucking know. More formal? Intimate versus formal. More professional, more cordial versus being trying to be more broke on intimacy. Okay. Oh, look at these fancy swords. <laughs> Pay to win swords! Pay to win swords! Yo, Hugo, your sword is the biggest here. Oh, shit. Like, look. He looks kind of cool if you just ignore his personality. And finally, he's gonna actually show us his skills. Let's see how strong Hugo is compared to everyone else. No, we're isekai characters. Shut up. <laughs> now she knows too. That's, that, that's her friend that was a guy that got turned into a girl, right? Or am I wrong? Was that a different girl? Because that girl was also a red hair. <laughs> Yo! Little sister was ready to fucking 
fucking fight. Yo, Sue literally was ready. Look, <laughs> Sue was fucking ready to pull, dude. <laughs> okay, that was the guy to turn to girl. Okay. Basically, stop saying the Japanese names because we're trying to be, you know, we're trying to like, you know, adapt to the environment here. You know, you got to use your isekai names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are watching, dude. What if they realize that we are isekai characters, though? Then? What happens then? Uh oh, magic wands? Water magic. Enchanted. What the fuck was the point of the swords? Did we just skip the sword training in the anime? Why? Why? Why are? Why are we just going with the wands? Okay, ignore the swords. Magic perception and operation. Mechanics sub. How to use magic in this show? Okay, just focus. Imagine that bullshit explanations as usual. Okay. Just envision a beam. Okay. You absolutely must not point it at your classmates. I have a feeling Hugo's gonna point it at his classmates. Huh? 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 Yo. None of them fucking hit their marks. Everybody fucking was like. <laughs> Look at this shit. She didn't even need a wand. She just fucking does, does, does the magic. Look at that. Hit the target. Hey, stop flexing on everybody. Oh, that was pretty good. Sue, your blushes are kind of sus. A lot of rivalry between this Hugo and, um, Hugo and, you know, the prince, though. Because <laughs> I think he said for, for safety, right? Because somebody like Hugo, what if he decides to use earth magic on another student? Another thing, because she's an earth dragon, she didn't even use the correct affinity, yet the water she did still hit the target effortlessly. I don't know, man. This girl's cracked. No shot, Sue is literally getting jealous at Nisama conversing with his familiar. Come on, that's- you're- you're competing for bestiality right now? Come on! <laughs> Sue, come on! <laughs> Okay, her affinity is fire. Hugo is also fire. Both hit the target. Why is she saying skill up? Still, this girl. I feel like she is like the gotcha character from you know the instant death anime. Cause like everyone else is like you know doing their. Everyone else is part of the spider isekai, but I feel like this girl is like a separate character that got like the blessings of a separate goddess that has nothing to do with any of the other classmates. Like, she's even talking about the god the skill up? What is she? What is she doing? She's hitting the target, though. Well, basically, the god told her that, like, if you keep doing this, you'll level up, right? Sorry, I zoned out there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Fidimos. Who is Fidimos? I forget. She. A girl... Elf? Oh, teacher? Sensei? Elf Sensei. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What the fuck is Sensei doing? Secretively. No, that was super important. Because Sensei is the one that was tracking down the other 11 people that's been accounted for. That got isekai'd. But she's just mysteriously doing other shit behind the scenes? No, that, that is so... No, dude. Dude, no. What is she doing? She's so important. Is she, is she just like scouting for other people or is there something more to it? Sue literally just says, Nisama, everyone else are such peasants compared to you. Them struggling to use their water makes me so horny for you, Nisama. <laughs> mm, okay, Sue. <laughs> I like her. She's a little crazy. She's out in the public saying, Repent! I want to hear the fucking voice of God! The day of reckoning is near! <laughs> she's fucking crazy, but... She's got a great design. And maybe she's not tripping. Maybe the God is real, man. But you don't know? <laughs> Yo! Watch her actually evolve to like get a skill! And everyone's gonna be like, What the fuck? This girl actually did it? Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> I want this girl to reach the voice of God one day. I want everyone to think that she's crazy, and then she actually gets the blessing from God and actually gets a new skill. Dude, that shit would be so funny. <laughs> Dude, look how 
Hugo is kind of correct here. I would agree. I think sometimes playing to your strength is better than trying to be a little bit more balanced and cover for your weaknesses. Sometimes it's better to go in with the vertical investment rather than the horizontal. Fire! Fire! Fireball! You fucking burnt the fucking target! Now she can't do skill up anymore. Good job, Hugo. So cocky. No, don't give up. Don't give up. He goes a f But in terms of offensive magic capabilities, like he seems pretty strong, right? He seems pretty strong compared to the rest, right? Oh, competing again? He put the fire out? No fire allowed. Yellow card. Foul. I low key wanted Hugo to shit talk the teacher and say, you, you're weaker than me. No. It's like a war between whom? Because we don't really know the different factions in this show. We know there's like a human side. Did they mention that there's like demons here in this show? I forget. Hold up. <laughs> Faye? Wait! Hear what? Is this the war? <laughs> Is the actual war about to happen? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, she's growling. The role play, dude. The role play. Uh, PowerPoint presentations and, and, and. <laughs> the, the, f the fuck? Just got PowerPoint presentation into fucking nothing. Uh, back to Spider. No, no, no. Oh, yo, he's even coming on me, huh? Yo, Sensei! Did you see that? <laughs> Sensei literally went like this. <laughs> yo! <laughs> Uh oh! Uh oh! Sensei's dead! Oh my god, he's actually dead! Oh my! He's done? You, 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 it looks like he's disintegrating, dude! What the fuck is coming? What's happening? Oh! Fucking dinosaur? Earth drag. <laughs> The lead up to this was pretty menacing. But when you show the CGI dragon after all that build up for the anticipation, <laughs> it's fine. It's not too big of a deal. But this is an earth dragon, huh? This is what. But Frey looks totally. Frey looks totally different from this earth dragon. You know, the color of the scales is totally different. All right, Hugo, you're talking big again. Let's see it. All right, Hugo, let's see it. Can you do it? Hugo, you might die, bro. Nani? Nani? Die. Smack him. Disperse the magic. Imperial scales? All right. Magic nullification? Oh. <laughs> so he was all talk at the end of the day. What a piece of shit. Now, what happened there with the sensei? Because the sensei was using some kind of like Kamehameha, but we were getting attacked by something. But I doubt that attack was from the Earth Dragon, right? That's a separate attack, right? Because that was like disintegrating sensei. <laughs> Maybe this should be the thumbnail of this episode. <laughs> it's basically me just going to be laughing and Hugo just down like this. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Yo, the sensei is disintegrating. The sensei is turning into compost. The sensei is turning into atomic particles. Bro is coming together as the Milky Way, dude. Bro is getting recycled right now. What the fuck? Was a disintegration from the dragon? What's up, Sue? What should we do? You know what would be so fucking cool? If the goddess girl was like, Skill up! Skill up! Skill up! And the god just fucking shows a divine light pillar down and gives her fucking OP powers. That's never gonna happen, right? That's that's her. She's my favorite character because she seems like a meme right now. But oh my god, please, please give me a moment like that. You probably slayed a dragon. The real protagonist of the show? Shun's going in? Are you sure? Oh, goddess girl! Goddess girl! That's right, the god will tell us to fight. You shouldn't be fucking around like this. I feel like we should just run away, but... 
Oh, what do we got? Ah, uh, is this really gonna do anything? Ah. Uh... Oh god, get out of my way! Oh no! Magic warfare. What buffs? Buffs? More buffs? He actually fended that? Okay, he goes back. He goes back. This fucking idiot's ruining it though. Bro. How the fuck are you just gonna come back after getting fucked up and immediately ruin the fucking teamwork? You're doing friendly fire, you idiot! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, no, no, no. I think we just saved Hugo's life right there, right? Because I thought that he was like, cool the fuck down, sit down. But if you look at it, boom, and it's from the direction of the dragon. So I feel like we saved him there. Straight up, we saved him there. Faye? What the fuck? Faye? <laughs> Faye is just doing the Bofuri tactic. If you can't just beat them, just eat them. Just, 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 just bite them. <laughs> I mean, uh, Wakaba the spider is also kind of doing the same. She's just eating them. Isn't this cannibalism? This is straight up cannibalism. This is a dragon, an earth dragon eating another earth dragon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did and Dragon is super effective against Dragon and, and Pokemon. You are right. For some reason, Dragon is counted by Dragon. I'm not sure what the logic is between there, but holy shit. This little Earth Dragon that thought was that she was nothing or just a random familiar might have actually gotten the best role of everybody here. Better than Hugo. Like this girl just casually just ate the fucking thing and just defeated it. This is insane. That was just, she just fucking bit the thing too. Like I said last episode. She's looking down on herself, thinking that she's just a random familiar, but no. I think she is some kind of legendary earth dragon that was found from the cave from, you know, where the spider's cave was. Shun and Fei, this is an amazing combo, man. Shun did get the final blow, but still, this is like amazing teamwork there. Wow. What's up, Fei? You did it, you're a hero. Why does she look not happy? Why does Fei look upset? What was that? Something was very off there. Something was really weird there. She just kept looking at it. Because she slayed her own kind? It was hurt? Why is Faye doing that? I thought she'd be a little bit happier right now. <laughs> Hugo, we saved your life, dumbass. Because she killed her own? What? You level up? Can... Wait, it was cannibalism, but Wakaba has the same kin eater too. This is really interesting. The parallels between Faye and Wakaba. Like she's the one that bullied Wakaba. We're both turned into these monsters. You know, she's a fucking earth dragon, we're a spider. We both had the kin eater. She was found within the same cave that Faye... I, I, this is so weird. Why are we getting the same shit? Sorry, when I say cannibalism, when I say cannibalism, sorry. When I say cannibalism, it's from the perspective of Faye. Faye is a dragon, which is dragon eating dragon, which is kin. That's the implied cannibalism, as in it is the kin. Probably. It's, it's one of the earth dragons. It's the same shit. What's wrong with you? What? Shun, why? From the attack of... Oh, I was confused as fuck there because he was disgusted that she, it was a kin, but like, it's just the Earth Dragon. Is there a post credit scene? There is. She's literally hanging off the cliff. Ow! It's like a new region. More monsters. Higher level region, basically. Just snakes and wasps fighting each other down here. In spider color. Where did they go? Uh, oh, 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 more CGI monster. Oh! Okay, this one actually looks pretty fucking scary. Earth Dragon Araba, level 37, appraisal fail. Another Earth Dragon. Earth Dragons evolve into different, I guess, different, you know, modes, right? So, like, this monster looks completely different from the other Earth monster we just slayed in the future, but different, you know, evolutions, I guess. This one looks fucking sick, dude. Look at it. Even if it's CGI, it looks pretty fucking sick. It's FaZe, mom or dad. 
Level 37, though. Not too high of a level as I assumed, you know? You're right. Not only is it level 37, what prestige is it? Because if you evolve, your level decreases. So a level 99 at a different evolution form could be weaker than a higher evolution form at level 37. You're right. You're right. Level's not important. That's it. Dude, this show is so good. Dude, why is everyone saying this show is mid? This is so interesting. This show, because like it's operating in different timelines. I think that the human side is actually quite fascinating so far. Maybe it gets worse later, but so far it's getting a lot of different characters introduced that I honestly love. My favorite character so far is this girl. Skill up! Skill up! Skill up! I love this shit! And one day, I hope there's a moment where she saves everyone. And she's like, operate, and, and the god actually comes down with the heavenly ray of light and it gives her a power and saves everyone. I think it would be so fucking funny because she just looks like she's playing a different isekai game compared to everyone else. It's so funny to me. Rest in peace, Sensei. Yes, the CGI Earth Dragon was kind of terrible, but honestly, I'm not really watching this show that much for the action. It's more of like the different character interactions and how everything is gonna start coming together. I much more enjoy the the, the basically the competition, the rivalry between Hugo and the Prince, and the way that he's kind of getting pushed away and becoming more antagonistic. The way that Faye and you know Wakaba has some kind of ties and parallels in the future and the past. I think that so far it's a very very compelling story and i'll continue to deliver him god damn we have fucking 24 episodes of the season so we're fucking cooking but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content until next time take care